So there have been a couple questions in the Facebook group about the timeline and about, and a few other things about the um, UI and how to navigate in the app. And I do have some tutorials from when uh, Create Studio 3 first came out that reviewed how you can use the interface and the different options like here. Oops, sorry, that's save where you can view this in different ways by minimal, left bar, left and right panels, um, and as well as some of what I'm gonna show you now about the timeline. But I figure it might as, I might as well make a quick tutorial because there were some questions specifically around the keyframes. When you have keyframes, when you add an animation, so I'm just gonna click the image. When you add an animation and it adds keyframes to it, sometimes it's hard to see. And that's because of how we are viewing our timeline, the elements on the timeline. You can see these are really thin. If you go down here and expand it, you can look at your track size as small, which is what I have chosen now, medium. I still can't see my, um, if you watch, I do have her animated to walk. Walking is always another one that people are asking about, so I thought I'd choose that. You can't see the keyframes there right now, but if I go to large, now you can see the keyframes. So, Choosing to go small will make your work a little bit easier to view if you have a lot of elements and you have a lot going on on your timeline. You would be able to see what you have easier if it is thin or small as they call it or large because now I can only see two of those. As a reminder, you can also click right here and drag your timeline up and down. You can also choose full width or have the panel go and then you have this not as wide. So if you're in the studio, you're going to see more than if I have it go that way. I tend to always have as much of the timeline as I can. But let's return to the topic I was planning on. Um, so here, how do we see the animation, the keyframes? As you keep seeing, you may have saw, as I was hovering over it, if I go here, you don't see any little blue mark. You don't see any blue mark. Here, you see a little blue tab. I'm going to just do a quick tap with my mouse, and that expanded that element, which is Lenka walking. Now I can see, if you look, this is still thin and this is still thin. This temporarily expanded this even though I am still on small. I'm gonna close it by tapping it again. Now they're all small. You can make them all large, you can make them all medium, you can make them small. You can choose whatever is your preference, but if you want to now go in and work on the keyframes, you don't have to keep going back over here. You can just click right there and then you can move the keyframe. So I am going to actually move the end keyframe a little so we can see that she will end the walking at the wrong moment and I'll show you how we can fix it. So here Lenka is, she walks across. Now you can see that keyframe is ending too soon because she still takes like one and a half steps. You notice this collapsed again because I had clicked off. So I can just click on the tab again. And now I'm going to make sure that I end the keyframe. Let's see if that works. Yep, that looked pretty good. Now watch, if I click off, in any place, if I click on the timeline, it's gonna collapse again. If I go to another element, it's going to collapse again. If I 
click up here on the canvas, it's going to collapse again. So this is really good to do if you just want to quickly edit something. If you want to work in a lot of different elements, maybe you'll choose to just have them always visible by choosing large. Medium makes it about halfway in between, and you can still expand it to work on the keyframes. So I hope that helped. And actually, I didn't do this with motion, but let's see. I really don't want the motion, and I really don't want her to go to the right. See how it added it right there? Because um, right now she'll just zoom off, and that's stupid. But I wanted to see. So, yep, you can still, if you expand it with the tab, then you can change the duration of any in or out motion that you used, or you can click and delete it. And then when you click off, it goes back to small. So hopefully that helped you understand the uh, time frame, uh, not the time frame, the timeline and the keyframes a little bit better.